Hi there! Me and Katie, back for more crocheting with you! I'm sorry I'm a little later than usual today. Um, got through that big event on Wednesday, now we're gearing up for the last big event, which is our awards night um, this coming Wednesday. So, I've had that going on. Uh, my assistant is here getting all the awards ready and we we're discussing through some stuff with that. So, that's why I'm a little late because we were dealing with all of that. But I'm here now. Yay. <laughs> um, I just want to once again apologize for the colossal mess up from the last time. I hope that y'all, if y'all followed along, that y'all read the description um, and saw where I corrected it so you didn't waste a whole bunch of time. But yeah, that was a big one. I don't know how I completely just botched that so badly, but I did. That being said, I did fix it. There's mine. He's got normal stripes now. I caught up to where we ended the last stream. Um, and so that's what we're going to pick up today. I don't really have much to say today, aside from I hope you've had a great week. Um, mine has been busy. I'm glad that our big event is over. Now I'm still working on the cleanup from that. So hopefully that'll finish up today. And then I'm going away for the weekend camping with um, my family and some of our friends. So that's going to be fun too. But I'll be back on Monday, so you won't miss me for too long. So anyway, we are going to pick right back up with where we left off with our hobs. And you can get that from sukigirl74.blogspot.com. That's where I got this pattern from. It is not mine. I do not claim it. I have zero pattern making skills. Amy. I can just follow them, usually, till I forget an entire row. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but anyway, so that's what we're making. We're finishing up the head today, um, and then we're going to dive into the body. We're going to get all of our big pieces done, and then we'll go back and do the smaller pieces, like the muzzle and the ears and what have you. Um, I will, in reading through the pattern, because I made the mistake of not really reading through it before we started, um, there are several felt pieces that she uses, and I'm going to be working on modifying it a little bit so that they're all yarn pieces. If you watched any of my Pokemon walkthroughs, you'll know that I prefer, I prefer my stuff to be all yarn. Um, so I will be doing some of those in yarn. Um, I think the head stripes, she said, were felt. The nose was felt. The white body piece, I think, is felt. I'm not positive on that one. I'm trying to remember. No, I think that one is yarn. Now I don't remember. Um, but yeah, and then if you look at the, t if you see the two pictures there on the overlay, um, you'll see one has that kind of white going across. That's felt. One doesn't have it at all. Um, so it's just those, those different pieces, um, we'll have the options for you, but I'm gonna, I'm going to work it up as a yarn piece instead of a felt piece. Obviously, if you want to do it in felt, just like I said for all the Pokemon ones, do it. <laughs> um, it does occasionally, well, I don't, I can't even say occasionally, it does in general provide a cleaner look because it's just a solid piece and it's a lot easier to cut straight and stuff. And sometimes when you're crocheting it, it doesn't necessarily come out straight and then you got stre stretching and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it re it's really just a preference thing. And I, I like, I like my, my yarn, my yarn stuff. I want it to all be yarn. So that's just where I come in at. Um, but again, you can do whatever you want. So, cause it's your project. So yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on today's. We are going to finish the head up and then move to the body. So yeah, so you'll need your orange and your black because that's what we're working with right now. So if you have, if you followed along on the previously, previous one, um, we got through 18, round 18. Um, that's where you repeated these, these three one, two, three times. So this should be 11, no, 10, 11, 
the orange one is 12, 13, 14, the orange one is 15, 16, 17, the orange one is 18. So we're picking up at 19. We're only using orange for the rest of the head, so we won't need to pick up our black for a while. So if you had been carrying that around with you, um, you can go ahead and clip that off now. There's no reason to carry it anymore. And be done with that. So I've already done that. Mine went bye-bye. You can see all of my, I don't know, can you see it? See how, there you go. See how all my carry, my carried yarn around in there. I'm going the wrong way. I'm bad with this camera sometimes. <laughs> all right, so diving in. Rounds 19, 20, and 21. We're just gonna work 48 around. Um, give it more of that elongated head before we start decreasing to close it off. So one, two, three, 19, 20, 21. We're just gonna work around 48 stitches. Don't forget, this is working with a slip stitch um, and a single chain at the end of each row, round. So you're gonna do 48, you'll slip stitch, chain, do another 48, slip stitch, chain. Um, that just helps with the jogging of it. Okay, so here we go. Alrighty, so one, two, three, If you are watching this back on YouTube, I just want to say thanks, first of all. Um, my subscriber count on YouTube is over 250, and while that may not be a big deal to some people, that's a big deal to me. <laughs> I was like super excited when it crossed that 250 mark. So thank you to all of y'all who have subscribed. Um, I truly appreciate it. And I hope the videos are helpful and that you're making some fun projects. I do love it when when uh, I get some chats here on Twitch. So if you want to come over to Twitch sometime, you don't have to subscribe or anything. Well, I take that back. I think you do. Well, you don't have to subscribe, but you do have to have an account in order to chat. But you don't have to subscribe. I mean, you can still chat without subscribing. So I'd love I love it when I get some chat chatty folk on here. Um But yeah. I realize I I've said but yeah a whole bunch of times already and it's only been 10 minutes into this video. So sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. To my knowledge, I don't usually say that as often as I currently am. And just so y'all know, my, my best friend just called me on the phone <laughs> and I declined her call. How much I want to do this video for you guys without interruption. <laughs> it is not often that I don't answer a call from her. <laughs> Alright, that wraps up. Once I put in this final stitch. Ugh, there it goes. Okay, that wraps that up. We're going to slip stitch that. And get our thing, our thing, our, I don't know why I can't seem to remember the word for chain, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to do another 48 around for round 20. If I can get my stitch marker to not annoy me, there we go, that's great. So this is round 20. My kids are so excited to go camping this weekend. We haven't been camping 
well, I take that back. My daughter, <laughs> we took her camping last summer as just um, a solo trip. That was slightly nightmarish. My husband had been having issues with his truck, with his transmission. He had taken it in to get it repaired, I think twice before this trip. They came back saying that it was fixed, it was fine. Um, there were, should be no more issues with it. While we were driving there, the truck broke down and we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, in the mountains of Virginia with hardly a cell reception. <laughs> we're just like, oh great, what are we going to do? <laughs> like his, his entire truck overheated and then a very kind family happened to stop and help us. They ran down the road to get some stuff that he needed in order to get it rigged enough that we could um, get through the weekend and get home or at least get to back to a city enough for him to do more to it on the way home. While we were there, um, something, I, I can't even remember because it was like something happened with my daughter where she got sick for one of the days or something. There were issues with the campsite itself. Like it was like this, such a random thing. Oh, I know what it was. That's what it was. We, um, we were planning to go to a, a bigger camp site and explore this kind of tourist thing that we have in Virginia. I can't even remember what it's called. I'll know it after I'm done talking about it, but we're going to go do that. That's the end of round 20, by the way. Bing. Now we're going to start 21. There we go. All right, 48 stitches in round 21. Um, but because of the transmission, we had to scramble to find a new place to camp that was right near, semi nearby where we were. That's what it was. It wasn't a bad thing. It was just an inconvenient thing. So we found a place that had reception. I started Googling places to camp. <laughs> nearby. We did come across this kind of remote campsite that turned out to be one of the greatest places we've ever camped at. It was right on a river um, and it was secluded so there weren't very many people there and the people that were there were like the ones that live in RVs and like on the campsite so everyone was like was very friendly and familiar with each other and there weren't a lot of outside visitors. I think they had maybe six to eight campsites that w were for non-resident campers, um, short-term campers, what have you. So it, it actually turned out to be a pretty fun trip. It just wasn't what we had anticipated. And I guess those are kind of the, those diamond in the rough trips, right? <laughs> um, ones that you least expect to happen. But my daughter was disappointed that we didn't get to go see this attraction that she was hoping to see. It's going to bother me to though I can't not remember what it was called. The only thing that's coming in my head is Chimney Rock, but that is totally not it. <laughs> um, but it is like a rock face, natural bridge. That's what it is. It's a natural, it's called the natural bridge. That's that's where we were going to go. It is a bridge that is created out of the mountain on its own. Um, it's got some fun hiking trails there and everything like that. That's where we were going to go. We did not even get close. I think we were still two hours away from that. And we couldn't go any further because of the truck. So yeah, all of that to say, all of my kids get to go on this camping trip. We're going to a friend's land with a whole bunch of other friends. It's our church small group. It's going to be fun. They get to be with their friends as well as us. So 
I think we're gonna have lots of fun. And since I'm not much of a camper, it's only for one day, I mean a day and a half, one night, um, so I won't lose my mind. I love the outdoors. I don't love sleeping on the ground. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we've got that built up there. We're going to now start all of our decreasing. So round 22, we are going to do six single crochet. Excuse me. Yeah, six single crochet, one decrease six times around. We're going to bring that down to 42 stitches. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet in the first six stitches. Now we're going to do a decrease for stitch seven. So we're combining seven and eight, creating one. And then we're going to do that five more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet one decrease, and then keep doing that around. Again, I apologize for the state of my office. Next week is going to be glorious because I will actually have time to clean it. <laughs> because we will have basically everything set and ready for awards night um, by this weekend. So there won't be too much to do next week except set up the stage. So I'll have time in my day to clean my office. I'm super excited because I'm slightly losing my mind. And you guys can't even see everything that's on the floor next to me. Thank goodness. You'd be appalled. Not even joking. I've got a mound of stuff over here of, you know, crochet, part of it's crocheting stuff. Um, extra projects that I'm working on on the side. I've got stuff over here that just needs to be put away and organized. Um, there's paperwork and stuff out of frame that you can't see. <laughs> it's it's just kind of piled up everywhere. And then there's then there's my desk. This space that's literally right in front of me. That's the only clean space. Like that's it. <laughs> All right. So somewhere I have messed up numbers. That's what I get for not counting before I started a new a new thing. Should have counted. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, hang on. Where was my last decrease? Yep, so that should be a decrease, even though it's not right. I have messed up somewhere. So let me go back. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to count and get my stitches right. Get my stitches right. All right, bear with me. I lost it. I 
I have somehow managed to add like eight stitches. <laughs> I don't know how I've done that. So I'm going to go back and modify mine just to get mine down to 42. So give me one second. Pull this back probably to here. All right, so this puts me at how many stitches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm at twenty-one. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off a few more here. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Decrease twenty-six. 7, 30, 38, 39, 40, nope. still not going to cut it. I have to redo this whole thing. I mean, not the whole thing. I'm not going back that far. How many did I start with? That's probably a good, a good, good thing to figure out is how many I started with. So that's one, two. I started with 52 stitches. I almost feel like I added one every time that I uh, did the slip stitch and I didn't fix it as I did it went around. I think that's what I did. So I need to knock out 10, not 7. If you did it correctly, you should only need to knock out 6. I knock out 10. So off I go. <laughs> so 1, 2, 3, 4, Decrease. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Hi, Vivid. <laughs> yes, that makes seven more followers to get get my goal. Twitch is switch is a slow burn for me. <laughs> Welcome! You're just in time to see my mess up because I added um, a whole bunch more stitches as I went along that I shouldn't have added. So now I gotta get rid of them. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Yes, this is my hobby. Every once in a blue moon, I'll make some to sell. But for the most part, I just make them for family and friends. And then I do this for fun. Because I have found that some people have difficulty uh, reading patterns, so I've started walking people through patterns. Patterns that I'm allowed to walk people through. Throwing that out there. I do not do walkthroughs of paid, paid for patterns. Fifty, fifty-one, or forty. Forty-two. Okay, I am back to having forty-two stitches. Wow. 
what kind of making music is that? Is this like producing making music or playing an instrument making music? What kind of making music are you doing? All right, I'm gonna do my slip stitch. I just messed up. I don't know how you don't know how you mess up a slip stitch, but I totally just did. Boop, boop, boop. And chain there. Okay. Ooh, that one. Gave me a somewhat calming jazz vibes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, send me a link. I'll check it out. If you've got a link, send me a link. Check it out. Okay, there we go. Now that I'm back to where I'm supposed to be with my 42 stitches. Sorry for the delay. All right, so round 23, we are going to do five single crochet one decrease six times around, bring it down to 36 stitches. Yeah, I'll check that out later. Thanks for that. I just, just dropping stuff, no big. <laughs> okay, now let's see if I can manage to not do something wrong. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do one, two, three, four, five single crochet, one decrease. Do that five more times around. See if I get it right or if I have a weird number again. One, two, three, four, five, decrease, Almost through. Let's see <laughs> where I'm going to fall here. Three, four. five decrease I managed to add another stitch I'm telling it's I apparently have issues with the uh, slip stitch part I take issue with the slip stitch <laughs> all right should now have 36 stitches it is cute, isn't it? The pattern designer did a great job. It's not me. <laughs> All right, go get some sleep. Thanks for chatting for a bit. Good night. All right, round 20. Where are we at? 24. We're just going to go around 36. Let's see if I manage to not mess this one up. We'll see. One, two, three. So that's just 36. 
around. I don't know what it is about Hobbs here. It's gotta, it's gotta be that, that my brain is just, I think it got so used to working in continuous rounds. I think that's where it's at. It got so used to doing continuous rounds that now it is, it doesn't know how to cope with that extra, that extra stitch for the jog list. That's gonna make that's gonna make doing the body lots of fun, isn't it? Almost through this one. So we're taking it down to 24 stitches in total. So only a few more left. All right, round 25, we're going to do four single crochet, one decrease six times around. Okay, he'll bring us down to 30 stitches. Oh, let me fix my slip stitch here. All right, so that's one, two, three, four single crochet in the first four, one decrease, we're going to do that five more times, and we're going to test to see if Katie has figured out what she's doing yet. Three, four, decrease. Nope, Katie still doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know how I keep doing this. Oh gosh. It's like I'm 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 adding stitches instead of taking away. It's insane. The slip stitches are killing me. Okay. I feel like I just need to start with a decrease on my end, just because then I can get it do get it doing what I need it to do. <laughs> Alex Black Designs, how are you? Thanks for joining today. <laughs> um, it's going pretty well here, aside from the fact that I apparently have stopped knowing how to count. I don't know. <laughs> All right, round 26. We're going to work evenly around um, 30 stitches in each of those. I'm going to do a decrease because I have a feeling I'll wind up with an extra stitch otherwise. Don't do what I do. Do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> It 
It all started so well. Okay, that was supposedly 20 stitches. I feel like I have more than 10 stitches here. <laughs> this is great, guys. This is great. Oh gosh, what? You're supposed to unwind, not come with me. an extra stitch. I don't know what I'm doing. I have never had such difficulty having the correct number of stitches. <coughs> you know, I wish I could employ someone to count for me. That'd be great. Um, unfortunately, that's hard to do with this. Now I've made myself cough. <coughs> Goodness gracious. What am I doing? All right, you know what? I'm not. E I'm not even doing it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go straight. We're gonna go. I'm just gonna do a continuous stitch right here because I just. I can't. I just can't. I just can't. I don't have any more stripes, so I feel like it's okay. <laughs> I feel like I need a cookie right now. Stress myself out. All right. Ugh. Okay, calming down now. Round twenty-seven. Here, we're we're gonna we're gonna try this again. This head is almost done, and then and then maybe I can stop freaking out about. It. Round twenty-seven. We're doing one single crochet. I'm sorry. Three single crochet, followed by one decrease. Six times around, bringing it down to thirty stitches. Let's see what I end up with. I really hope y'all's going better than mine. I, I'm telling you, this this thing's messing me up. <sighs> Clearly, I work better in continuous rounds than jogless rounds. Clearly. So that's one, two, three single crochet in the first three, followed by one decrease. We're going to do that five more times. So, one, two, three single crochet, one decrease. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say it all just to see where I end up. Two, then you guys, then you can tell me if I messed up in general. That, that was three, right? One, two, three? Yeah. Decrease. One, two, three. Decrease. One, two, three. Decrease and one, two, three. Oh my gosh, it worked. That's what it is. I can't. I can't. I can't do jogless rounds. That's that's what it is. All over continuous rounds. All about it. Clearly, I can't do jogless rounds very well. <laughs> continuous. Perfect. No issues. Oh, y'all, that was, that was nutty. Oh, 
Oh, that's never good. Do not want to cut off circulation. All right, final three. Final three for Hobbs's head here. We're just gonna go round 24. So three rounds, 24. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna work it, work in continuous rounds at this point because I, I just I just can't. <laughs> I don't have any more strikes, so I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> if you don't have issues with jogless rounds, please do it the way that they ask you to. <laughs> I obviously can't do that. That's gonna make the body real interesting, I'm telling you. But no, if you if you ever knotted up that badly, that's yeah, you may just want to take a break. <laughs> as fun as I have crocheting, um, I, I don't think it's worth losing losing a finger over. I feel that way about knitting, though. I feel like I would end up stabbing myself with knitting somehow or another. I would totally be a victim on that, uh, only murderers in the building show that get killed with a needle, a knitting needle. Alright, that was 28. Um, I don't even know at this point. I want to say, it's like my my uh, Facebook anniversary popped up with a memory of my first project, and I don't remember how long ago it said it was. It's like three or f four or five years, I think, at this point. Backstory is I'm a paper crafter at heart. I make big paper projects with my my machine that's sitting back there. It requires the use of a laptop. My laptop died. My need to be creative was driving me nuts because I wasn't able to be creative because I didn't have a laptop for ever. And then I f came across this little amigurumi doll that was crocheted. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna make that. So I decided I was going to teach myself how to crochet. So my very first project was an infinity scarf with three color changes, because I'm extra like that. And now here I am. So <laughs> I prefer amigurumi type things. I like making, I like making useful things that aren't flat. That was round 29. Now we're doing our final round. I do. I have a Facebook page. Um, I have a Facebook page that I post them on. I can sell them if I have the time to sell them. For the most part, I uh, give them to friends and family for gifts. Baby shower gifts and birthday gifts are my top ones that I end up making, it seems, lately. Or making them for my kids, one of the two. But I believe I have my Facebook page linked here on Twitch. So if you ever wanted to go check it out, feel free. I have done blankets and things, but I don't do a lot of those. I also have fun blankets that I do instead of just flat ones. It's like, you know, the ones that look like uh, princess dresses, done those. Or uh, one, I, I'm, I, honestly, I'm still working on the one that looks like Batman. It looks like a big Batman outfit, but it's a blanket, so. Oh, the elephant's one of my favorites. The elephant and the monkey. <laughs> okay. At the end of that, we're going to leave a tail for sewing. Whee! There it is. Hobbs's head is done. Praise the Lord for that, because... Whew!
starting to lose my mind. So there we go. There's his head. And slash his neck. Slash his neck. <sighs> Done. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. Now, we are. Go I'm going to skip over the muzzle. One, because it's not a, uh, a big piece. And I'm trying to get through the big pieces. Big main pieces first. Um, so skipping over that. If and I say skipping because this is the order that the pattern has it in. So if you're looking at the pattern, um, it has the muzzle next, followed by the ears, and then putting the whole head, head together and such. And I'm just not doing that right now. We'll get to that eventually. So I'm skipping down to the body. We're not going to get through a lot of the body. Cause I've only got about 12 minutes left. Why, thank you, Alex Black Designs. I appreciate that. I will say the elephant was fun because it had a uh, an elastic in it. So like if you pulled the nose, the, the trunk out, it actually like bounces back into the place. So it's a movable nose. That was fun. That was something different that I hadn't done before. All right. And then let's see. What am I doing? I lost track of what I was doing. We're starting the body. That's what we're doing. So starting for the body, we are going to work in orange. We're starting with our wonderful magic loop that we love so much. Boop. All right. We are going to put six single crochet into that magic circle, ring, loop, whichever you call it. Three, four, five, and six. This is uh, the one we finished right before. Well, it's not finished, finished, but I went through the steps of it. This is our, uh, our Mew here. He's got a wire in his tail. Did him before we started Hobbs here. I've only put together half of his body, so he looks a little funny, but <laughs> that's him. One day I'll finish him. Her, it, whatever. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to, for round two, we're going to get into the first stitch that I hate so much. There we go. Now we'll tighten it up. All right, so we're going to do one increase into each stitch. So you should have 12 stitches after this round. First stitch always gets me when I do a magic loop. All right, so that's one. Two. Three, four, five, and six. All right. All right, we're going to attempt. We're going to. I hate it so much. We're going to attempt to do this lip stitch with the chain again. See if I can manage to not mess it up. Because that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> this lip stitch. Chain one. It's there. We're going to do this. Um, yes, we work up the first part of orange until we get to where the stripes come in and then we start adding the black into it for the stripes, provided I don't lose my mind first. Also, I didn't mention this, don't forget to stuff your head. You're going to want to put stuffing in there at some point before we get to assembly, if I don't go crazy first. All right. So just so I know what I'm looking at here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See? Now it looks 
now I have an extra stitch. That's what it looks like to me because of that slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have to ignore this stitch so hard. Okay, round three. We're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, six times around, taking it to 18 stitches. And I'm gonna try and ignore this thing so much. One, one single crochet in the first stitch, one increase in the second stitch. I'm gonna do that five more times. One, one increase. Last one. One. Increase. Okay. Now I'm ignoring that stitch. I'm ignoring it. It doesn't, it's not there. Okay, I now have that one and this one. Now how many stitches do I have? <laughs> one, two. Nope, I ignore that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 18. I have 18 stitches. Not 19. 18. Cheese and crackers. Okay. I'm going to get it. The body's, the body's going to get right. Even if I have to count after every round. I will edit it out for YouTube. I will. I will. <laughs> but it's gonna it's gonna be right. I'm not gonna have crazy stitches. Okay. Round what what was I? <laughs> One, two, three. Round four. Okay. I've lost it, guys. I, I it, it's been a week. Okay. It's been a week and it's been a day. Alright, here we go. Ignoring that stitch. Because that's what I have to tell myself. We are going to do two single crochet, one increase, six times around for a total of 24 stitches. Yes, that's where I'm at. 18 stitches out of the moment. We're going up to 24. One, two single crochet in the first two, one increase. Okay. We're going to do that five more times. One, two, and increase. <sighs> Nine. I have to concentrate so much harder. <laughs> Halfway through. Should be the last one. Two and increase. Okay. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24! Alright, I think I got figured out. Okay, I just have to ignore a stitch. That's what I have to do. I have to tell my brain to ignore a stitch. That's what it is. As long as I remember to do that, I'll be okay. Alright, I think I got it. 
Think I'm good now. So 24. Okay. Now, round five. I'm looking to see how far I'm going and how much time I have left here. Um, can we get to where we're starting the black? I think we can, as long as I don't freak out. That's what I have to tell myself. I have to tell myself to ignore a stitch, because otherwise my brain will not compute. And apparently just is not a fan of the of the slip stitch business. So. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Well, I'm, I'm going to count it again just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm still at 24. Yay! Okay. All right. Round five. We're going to do three single crochet, one increase, six times around, taking it to 30 stitches. So one, two, three single crochet in the first three, one increase, we're going to do that five more times, two, three, Don't mind me silently counting to myself to make sure I don't mess this up. Because <laughs> now I don't trust myself. Two, three, and increase. Okay, that's the end of my stitches, and then I slip stitch, chain, now I should have 30. Ready? 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 Okay. I'm ignoring that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. It's working. <laughs> Yay. All right. We're going to do two more increases, and then I think we're going to call it a day because then we'll be up to where we're adding the black. All right. So round six going to be four single crochet, one increase, six times around, taking it to 36. So that's one, two, three, four single crochet in the first four, increase into the fifth, and we're going to do that five more times. This keeps getting stuck. Whee! All right now. All right. Here we go. I did it once. Yeah. Five more times. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and increase. One, two, three, four, and increase. That's halfway through. Three more times. Increase. Last one. I'm getting tracked in. I love it. Love it. 
One, two, three, four. I only have one stitch left to increase in. Yes. My brain is working. Love it. All right, and then I'll do my slip stitch. And I do my chain. And I have 36 stitches. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirty-six. I got thirty-six. I got thirty-six. <laughs> Whew. I didn't realize this was going to stress me out so much. All right, last one. We're going to do round seven. Is going to be one single crochet in five. I don't know why I just said it that way. Five single crochet followed by one increase six times around. So it's going to be one two, three, four, five single crochet in the first five, increase into the sixth, we're going to repeat that five more times, and then we're going to call it a day, and we'll pick this up with the black stripes on Monday. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and increase, one, two, did I just go into the same one? No, I didn't. Okay. Got scared for a second. Three, four, five, so I'm going to have an extra increase that I didn't need, and I've been doing so well. <laughs> Increase three more. One, two, three, mm. increase increase and then I'm on my last one one two three four five and increase and slip stitch and chain and it's done for today <laughs> that is essentially Hobbs's butt <laughs> it's a little flat at the moment but that's it when we come back on Monday we will start creating him some stripes thanks I'm just happy that I didn't keep messing up the numbers. <laughs> now if I remember that on, on Sunday we'll be, or Monday, we'll be doing great. All right, well that is my time for today. I've hit the one hour. I've gone just a little bit over the one hour. Um, this was fun. Thanks for chatting with me today. I've had a couple chats today, so thanks for that. Um, I'd love to see you back on Monday. Um, maybe I'll go nuts again. I don't know. Forget how to count all over again. Maybe I should get my kindergartner to help me out. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope to hear about it on Monday when we are back. I should be back at our normal time of 11 Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, Lord willing, I will be back at 11 on Monday. So have a great weekend. Thanks for chatting with me, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.